and welcome back to the series where Liam tries to visit every Monopoly location in seven days for under $1,500. In the last episode, Liam spent over $1,000 to get to the first three properties. So it's safe to say, things are not looking good. This morning, Liam has been tasked with cheersing someone at Cathedral Square in Christchurch. So, after a splendid breakfast at McDonald's, it's time we join him. Would you look at that? I've got my coffee and I'm on the hunt for a human who would be willing to cheers me. Or, or a dog or a cat, I'll be fine with that. Excuse me, I'm doing a, I'm doing a challenge where I... At each location I get... I, well, you have them. I know, not quite, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> At each location I have to do a little sort of challenge, and this one is to say cheers with someone. Cheers. <laughs> cheers! We completely butchered the cheersing, but hey, we got it done. <laughs> we need to draw our next chance card now, and then decide what on earth we're doing. You'll get a speeding ticket. Lose $50. Crap. Crap. That is really not one of the ones that I wanted right now. <laughs> the plan from here, I think, is to drive to Fox Glacier. Now, I know what you're thinking, Liam, that's five hours of driving, have you lost your mind? <sighs> the only positive here is that Fox Glacier and Mount Cook are literally right next to each other. So if I drive to Fox Glacier now, I'll be able to get two birds, one stone in the same location. I just realized I forgot to brush my teeth. Ma! Ma! My brothers! Tell me that that is not definitely part of a calendar. I'm sure that that's part of a calendar. We have made our way onto the west coast and that is the ocean. I'm pretty sure actually that Antarctica is just over there, which is kind of cool. I bought an entire box of crackers and hummus and I'm, I'm just gonna eat the entire thing, I'm not gonna lie. This is officially the most New Zealand thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's just sheep on the road. I'm a little bit concerned that there is no snow anywhere. I, I can't see anything that looks remotely like a glacier. That would be because I am literally in the complete wrong place. I drove for about an hour in the wrong direction, which is just great. Okay, <laughs> okay, I've arrived at the Fox Glacier slash Mount Cook viewing point. Look at this. <laughs> The entire thing is covered by clouds. I literally drove six and a half hours to see some clouds. <laughs> Fox Glacier isn't too bad, you can see it there, but Mount Cook is just literally, you can't see any of it. I'm just gonna keep a G with you, that was so underwhelming for how far I had to drive. But hey, at least we can move on and, oh wait, no, I have to draw the chance card for Mount Cook. You may not use any form of GPS to get to the next property. Well, uh, that's convenient because I'm literally already here. <laughs> so now we need to draw our next chance card, which is... Ask a stranger to film you drinking pickle juice at the next property. Am I eating cereal out of my old coffee cup using a stirrer? Yes. Do I regret my actions? A little bit. <laughs> so tomorrow's main goal is to get the ferry from the South Island to the North Island. Obviously first we need to drink some pickle juice at Golden Bay, but I would really love it if we could end the day in Wellington. I'm gonna call it a night, but I will see you guys very soon. Uh, ow! Good morning, my friends. So, I did not sleep well last night. In fact, it is still the night. It is 8 degrees Celsius in the car. I really wish I could figure out how to make the AC go hot. My options are basically 
try and sleep for another two hours and probably fail, or go and get a really nice coffee and start driving. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Hello? <laughs> that is the good stuff. If you had told me last week that I would be in the wilderness of New Zealand in a suit, I would have said, uh, yes, actually, I'd already planned it by then. So. Me and the boys, right? Me and all my friends. I feel like I should give the Audi a name. What's the number plate? PB. Pablo. Pablo. Me and Pablo on the road. <laughs> Bit of a good news, bad news situation. Good news, I have a real spoon for my cereal in a cup now. Bad news, the ferry that I want to catch this evening, it's entirely sold out. Oh, there's so many flies here, bro. The next available ferry is like midday tomorrow, which is just way too late. So I'm hoping that they have some last minute cancellations and I can just rock up and be like, Hey, can I jump on? <laughs> Long story short, we need to get to the ferry terminal as quickly as possible, which means getting to Golden Bay as quickly as possible, which is why I've just bought the pickles, which is why we need to hurry up. Oh dear. <laughs> it's not good. Our budget is now down to 170. I don't know if this is going to be possible. I think it is going to be impossible. I feel pretty confident about getting to Auckland under budget, but the issue is there's three properties above Auckland. There are so many things going wrong right now. I just, I need to focus on getting to Golden Bay and then we will tackle everything else later. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got my pickle juice. And we're at Golden Bay, yee <laughs> Hello, Liam from the future. I am so dumb. I literally filmed this whole bit and it was so cute. There was a dog called Lily and then I drank the pickle juice. Look at me, ah, oh, wow, disgusting. Uh, I actually secretly like pickle juice. Anyways, I, um, I forgot to plug the mic in, so sorry there's no sound, but, but look at the dog. Isn't she cute? <laughs> I am absolutely devastated. That guy's name was Ron. He had a dog called Lily and it was so cute. There's Ron all the way down there and there is literally no one else on the entire beach. <laughs> is that a tent made out of sticks? That's so sick. Quick pickle for the road. Why not? Mm. Post a photo of you at your next property on social media with no context. <laughs> okay. This town's cute. Picked in. Picked in more like picked on a ferry. Sorry. I'm pretty sure that they actually do have space on this ferry. I think I was being an idiot and I picked the wrong category. We're, we're about to find out. Blue line over the speed bump, lane two. Thanks so much. You're welcome. <laughs> We're going on the ferry, baby. I freaking did it. So that's it, my friends. Me and the homie Pablo are officially leaving the South Island and heading into the North Island. It has been a grind and it's cost us a lot of money. <laughs> Just to prove to you guys that I literally am always late, I am the last one in the entire ferry line. Look at this. I am literally the last one in the entire ferry line. <laughs> there is a duck right, but there's two ducks right beside my door. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and we're on the ferry, baby. On behalf of the Inter Islander, welcome aboard Arateri for this sailing. Thank you. This place is so sick. They literally have a full blown cinema playing Thor Love and Thunder. Uh, yes, please. I don't know why on earth it said earlier that it was booked out because <laughs> There's like no one here. <laughs> I believe that we're just about to leave. It is kind of getting late, so I might sleep on this. Dude. 
dude, I literally slept for that entire ferry trip. As soon as I finished filming about how great it was, out like a light, a. Hey. And we're off, yee -hee. <laughs> literally have no idea why I did that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the windy city of Wellington. Local time is midnight and I really want to go to bed. And go to bed he did. How about that, eh? With only three days to go, 13 properties still to visit, and on the brink of bankruptcy, Liam and Pablo have a colossal challenge ahead. Will they run out of time? Or perhaps money? Do join us for the final episode to find out. You kind of look like my cat, I'm not gonna lie.